Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, Twitch chat. Hope everyone's having a good day. Welcome back to Let Us Play. I'm your host, Father Evan. Uh, today on Spirituality Thursday, we're diving back into Skyrim, looking for more books. Uh, but before we get started, first want to say thank you to Agent Ocho for following the channel. Thank you for the follow. Your secret is safe with me, Agent Ocho. I won't tell anyone you're a secret agent. And Kit, that is fantastic news about your great nephew. I am that is so wonderful to hear. Praise God. I uh, hope he gets to go home for a nice long time, not have to go back to the hospital, and just you know, got to spend some time with his family, little, that little one. So what a blessing. So let us uh, dive back into our game. So we were playing a little Skyrim. Is the game audio working? No, the game audio decided to stop working. Because why would why would uh, anything ever, you know, go accordingly? Don't you love technology, Twitch chat? You touch nothing and it stops working. Uh, technology is good because I get to watch you stream. Well, that's fair. That's fair. Hold on. I have no idea why this isn't working. Everything I normally do to fix it works by now. Well. I have funky music instead. We'll shake it up a little. What's going on? There's no game audio. Can't hear a thing. Not a thing is coming through, and no matter what I try. Welcome to Troubleshooting with Father Evan. so we can see what music is playing. You can play Skyrim without the audio. Plus, we're going after books anyway, so I just want to try one last thing. And inevitably, the next time I boot this up, everything will just be working just fine. Eh, who knows? Anyway, for those of you who uh, haven't seen us play in this before, or maybe it's just been a while because it was before Thanksgiving, uh, we are role-playing as a monk called Anselm, who is coming in from Cyrodiil, looking to find books of mythology and, and uh, legend here in Skyrim. And I don't remember any of the controls. Uh, last time... We managed to get to Solitude, and we became members of the Bard's Guild, or Initiates. Uh, and the only major city we haven't explored, except I don't think we've actually been to the Jarl's place in Windhelm, but we've been to Windhelm. 
Uh, we have not been to Rifton. Last time, though, we tried coming here from Mixwater Mill. And coming up and over this ridge here, we got uh, surprise bear attack. Or I forget what it... I think it was a bear. So we want to go east. Uh, yeah, no, I did not get that game audio working. No matter what I tried. Literally, I think the only thing left to do is shut everything down and restart, but I don't feel like doing that. Uh, yeah, this is the way we want to go. Okay. I'm going to set up markers. So I have to, don't have to keep opening this. This looks like a safe way through the mountain pass. Well, I mean, hopefully you can hear my voice in the, and the groovy tunes. Plus, again, we're, go we're mostly after books. We're not... Anselm is not here to fight everything. Oh, shoot! However, relying purely on the visual cues will be interesting. Case in point. Nope, 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 nope. We do not want any of the fireballs you are uh, selling today. Yeah, perfectly safe. It's only full of precipices and... Wait, I have a thought, actually. Never mind, it wasn't that. Sometimes my computer forgets what uh, what audio sources should be playing. And it thinks there's headphones when there's not. But nope, it is in fact playing the correct audio out of the HDMI. Ah... Butterfly in a jar? I'll take one of those. Ooh, books! The cake and the diamond! Is that on our list? We have a list. A little discordant with the music, but it works. Yeah. We, we vibe in, in in Skyrim. That's what we're up to. Windhelm letters. I'm not really a warrior, but I can sell it. Alchemist's journal. Did this alchemist blow themselves up? Oh, look, we can make potions. Uh, I don't have anything to restore health. Well, I don't have enough ingredients, I guess. Hey, Squirrel Itch, how you doing? Welcome to the smooth and funky uh, Skyrim stream. Game audio just decided to stop working entirely. Look 
the size of that moose. Oh, just okay. I hope your day gets better. I'm doing pretty well. We had our first snowfall in the city the other day. And now it's like going to be 50 degrees all next week. So that's... Speaking of discordant. Maybe my monk took a vow of silence. <laughs> Apparently took a vow of silence so hard that he can't hear anything either. It's a very simple disagreement. I'm not for violence. They're very for it. They're going to show me why. <laughs> Are we anywhere close to Riften? Nope. We still have quite a ways to go because we got to get to this lake. Well, onward weary pilgrim. I am going to make a quick save. Because I remember there's the random encounters on the road, and I don't feel like uh, redoing all of this walking progress. Hello, fox friend. subtitles on because I usually do try to turn those on yeah they're on oh, there we go general subtitles I didn't have those on I try to have subtitles on in general just as like a good accessibility thing hey shadow vision oh you're playing fallout 4 you can lose a lot of time in that game. Just making those bases alone. Never could get into a Fallout game myself. I tried 3 and New Vegas. And I, I think part of it's the aesthetic, which I... I do think is a good aesthetic and they do it very well, but just for some reason, I just can't get into it. You know, I have not tried the old isometric ones. I should, maybe I should do that. I hear they're very uh, difficult, but a lot of fun in their own way. I see general subtitles does not include skeever attacks. Look at me. I'm the mountain goat now. Ma. Have I played di I have not played dish owned. I've I've always wanted to play dish owned, but I just never got around to it.
And I also will always, when it comes to the game, I will always call it dish ownered. I keep wanting that to be the jump button. Kind of a dumb, silly question. We're not allowed to use the Lord's name in vain. I think we know the cliche. Cliche people used to typically break that rule. You still use those cliches if you replace God's name with a random person's name. Or is there any way in which they could be used uh, if that isn't allowed? Oh my David. That's honestly just on a surface level that sounds hilarious. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, watching what we say is important and, you know, sort of that sense of guarding one's tongue. The, the more important thing of taking the Lord's name in vain is using it to swear an oath. Um, if you read it, sort of, if you read the second commandment contextually. Um, whoop. Hello, wolf. So there, you know, do I think it's okay to do it? No, but I, I think there are also worse things out there than doing that but you know if there are there are ways to express one's surprise anger frustration whatever without using you know four letter words or um it's a farm uh you know with substitutes i mean that's where uh rude actually came from on this channel is the as the emo uh it's it's what i use um, as sort of a substitute for, for certain words uh, on the show here is to say, ah, oh, you know, ah, oh, that's rude. Hey, the stables. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. What's the tax for? For visiting. Oh, that's a hefty fine. But you know what? We are a good, honest monk, and we will pay it. Uh, I think using other people's names. Yeah, Dingo's Fed Kidneys is a good one. I think using other people's name, I don't think it's bad. Uh, I actually think it sounds pretty dang funny. Um, and, you know, I mean, ultimately, a lot of this is like intent and in your heart. So, but yeah, I think using other people's names can be kind of funny. I don't know you. You, you and Riften looking for trouble? Just passing through. I like how the subtitles just don't work. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Where are the Black Briars? Me? I'm Maul. I'll watch the streets for him. Yeah, the first sentence is just not... I can show my unusual gem. I'll say how you're right. Well, you know, I... I think to this character that was not necessarily obvious that it was a fraudulent charge. There's a guard at a gate. And there's a tax. It's not uncommon for checkpoints to have that sort of thing. Maybe Anselm's just a little... not bright in the ways of the world. Well, I can't control what I tell the guard. We found a church. Yeah. <laughs> Anselm is very blissfully ignorant, except when it comes to using a mace. I mean, Anselm is the kind of person who would wander into a... Uh into an abandoned dungeon and go, 
Ooh, look at these archaeological findings! Ignoring the traps going off around him. Okay, you must be the Jarl. Jarls usually mean books. Show me to the books. King of Abbasi and, and not on the list. See, Anselm's just going into people's rooms looking for books, not thinking anything of it. Jarl Chambers. I don't know what a face sculptor is. I'm terrified by the concept. Is that medieval plastic surgery? Hey look, it's another one of those unusual gems. Anselm may not fully realize that this is uh, breaking and entering. He he just smells books and and follows his nose. Yeah, I'm just I'm just entering. Oh, is not on there. Wow, this is a bust. This is a cool porch. Well, we do actually have one more city that we haven't really explored because we stopped at White or at Windhelm very briefly on our way to the college. Hearth Hall. There's a lot of entrances to this Hearth Hall. Cemetery. Okay. It's very close to the living quarters. That's very surprising, actually. Hall of the Dead. How many books are we missing? Uh, most of them, unfortunately. We've actually only found, like, 12 of the, like, 50 books on the list. Hall of the Dead. Let's see how they honor their dead here. Um, I don't think anything happens if you collect all the books. There's, like, I think there's, like, 300 books in total in Skyrim, but I'm just going off of a list of, like, the mythological ones. Shrine of Arche. So I guess Arche is... Oh, from my perspective... I guess if we have found all of them, uh... We find a way back to Cyrodiil and take all the knowledge back to the, uh... To the monastery. Help, I'm lost.
That's that would actually be funny play. Oblivion said. Unfortunately, this is actually just going to be the last of the Skyrim streams for now. We might return to this character in future at some point. Um, but this is going to be the last stream for now on uh, on Skyrim. Yeah, this one in particular. Uh, th this one in particular. Um, in December, I'm switching over to uh, Spirituality Saturday. We'll be playing Adam's Venture. Which is like an Indiana Jones style adventure game uh, with a religious uh, theming to it. So I'm really intrigued by it and, and want to check it out. Uh, you know, we could look it up, but, you know, where's the fun in that? I was figuring after we check out this town, there is... We could work on some of the Bard's College stuff. Um, since that, you know, has a fairly uh, mythopoetic nature to it. Is that trade hall? Used wares? Oh, interesting. I forgot how big this city is. New Gnosis Corner Club. I know what Gnosis is, but what's Gnosis? Is that the sequel to Gnosis? Knowledge is back, this time with a vengeance. Palace of the Kings. That sounds uh, like it might do well. To the upstairs. Obligatory war room. Nope. Well, I guess we're going upstairs now. These are very narrow passages. Feel a little claustrophobic. I think it's Adam's Venture Origins because it's like the remake of the original. Um, not the DLC. Any heightened fears? Um, I mean, I don't love heights in person, but not like heightened. Uh, spiders are fine. Um, hmm, that's a tough one. Uh, but first, I've got a father joke. Uh, we have we have Origins, which I think is a remake, as you say, a remake of the re remaster. Documentation is a little unclear. Anyway, uh, uh, to your father joke, uh, step zero. And I think I had a construction joke, but I'm still working on it. I don't think sleeping with your mace and your armor on is a good idea, but you know what? Oh, sorry, it was Kit. Your banking points. I mean, fair enough. Still, I, I, gave, I saw the father joke. Brain fright took too long to catch the punchline. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. A book. Oh, the cake and the diamond. 
Bad Roxy has redeemed a father joke. Did you hear about the monster with five legs? I hear their pants fit them like a glove. Why doesn't this Yarl believe in reading? Rotata. Oh, well, I'm very happy someone did the Rotata. Uh, Zargonian count one of them? No. Plus Legends. Uh, anyway, today is the Feast of St. Andrew. Founder, uh, one of the Twelve Apostles, founder of the See of Constantinople. Um, an inexplicably patron saint of Scotland in, like, a major way. I mean, literally, the flag is a symbol of St. Andrew. Um, yep. And he was ultimately a martyr. His cross, uh, rather than being the vertical cross, it's the X. And so he was strung up on one of those on the roadside. And he preached from it nonstop for three days. Uh, which I think is pretty impressive. Uh, but just kind of a great example. You know, one of the twelve went from a fisherman older brother of St. Peter and yet does not have the position of you know, the first among equals and that's okay. Guess the saltire. Anyway, let's read some Lost Legends. The history of Skyrim is vast, predating even the most ancient records of man and myrrh. Much has been lost and fallen to the ravages of war or the turning of the ages, but nothing is ever truly forgotten. Where no records exist, legends and folktales offer us a key to the past. A way to piece together truths half remembered in the minds of men. For generations, the people of Morthal have told whispers of the Pale Lady, a ghostly woman who wanders the northern marshes, forever seeking her lost daughter. Some say she steals children who wander astray, others that her sobbing wail strikes, strikes dead all those who hear it. But behind these tales may lie a kernel of truth. For an ancient record speaking of Umriel, a mysterious figure of Ysgrimor's heirs battled for decades and finally sealed away. Reachmen tell the story of the Fowlin Red Eagle, an ancient king who rallied his people and drove back armies of Cyrodiil with a flaming sword. Though accounts vary, they too seem to be based on an underlying truth. The Imperial Chronicles of Empress Hestra mentioned a rebel leader of that era who eventually cornered and slain in battle at the cost of a full legion of men. But some tales prove harder to analyze. Among the scholars, perhaps the best known is the forbidden legend of Archmage Galder. In the dawning of the first era, the story goes, there lived a powerful wizard by the name of Galder, wise and just. He was well known in the courts of King Harald and the Jarls of Skyrim, and his aid and counsel were sought by man and Mur alike. And then he was murdered. Some say one of his sons killed him, others that King Harald, jealous of his power, gave the order. But Galder's three sons fled into the night, pursued by a company of Harald's best warriors and Lord Garamond, the king's personal battle mage. A great chase ensued from the wilds of the Reach to the glacial north. One brother is said to have perished in the ruins of Fulgenthur, at the foot of solitude. The others were drowned soon thereafter. And once it was done, King Harald ordered every record of their murders destroyed and, Gar and Galder's name and deeds were struck from the rolls of history. Even today, few sources remain and no bard will tell his tale. But perhaps the truth remains in some ancient ruin waiting to be unearthed, for nothing is ever truly forgotten. Interesting. Gives a sense of how the people of Skyrim view their own myths, but what's fascinating to me is this is a world <laughs> yes men in mirrors um you know they're like oh you know they write almost in a cynical 
way of like, oh, a sword that was flaming. Ooh, well, it's a legend, but there may be a kernel of truth. It's like, this is a world with magic. Like, why are you doubting the existence of uh, of a sword that has fire? I can make a fireball appear in my hands, and you're like, mm, flaming sword, that's too far. Even worlds with magic have things that seem impossible they exist. A fireball is known by flame. Yeah, I have... You can get magic swords in this game. Like, having your own sword of fire is not outside of the realm. You can learn to make your own. Isn't that right, Sifnar Iron Kettle? It's a great name. So that is all the cities explored. So why don't we work on the Bard's College? Uh, quest. We've been asked to find some more... Uh, mythopoetic texts, so that seems fitting. Oh, it's a dog. I thought that was a cougar at first. A mountain lion. And I know, I know, I should stop making up animals. You're welcome, Step Zero. Should probably just keep going around this mountain, but uh, this is Mountain Goat Simulator 2013, after all. No, 2010? When did Skyrim come out? 2009? How is there not an Elder Scrolls 6 already? Elder Scrolls Online takes a lot of dev time. I forget that game exists. Well, I found where we're going, but we don't want to just, like, drop down. Also, given we're going into somewhere a little, uh... A little spooky. Skyrim was released in 2011, and 2016, and 2017, and 2021, and 2022. That's true, Skyrim has been released multiple times and on everything at this point. And Starfield. They they did just release Starfield, and that took a lot of time and energy, so. Oh, look, a ghost. Ghost Bard. Uh, if you do it right, yeah, you can set up a computer in Minecraft and 
theoretically you could get it to run uh my uh get it to run skyrim Yeah, I know. I the, the game just keeps the the game cannot stop. One does not stop Minecraft, or one does not stop Skyrim. One does not also stop uh, Minecraft. I'm glad Anselm uh, took that course on fighting undead s soldiers in college. It really came in handy. I got lucky there. You know, Ghost Friend, it's really kind of unfair that you just walk through everything and I have to do this the old-fashioned way. That's what I should do. I should turn on uh, no clip. What's this book? The Buying Game. Is that how uh, Skyrim... <laughs> That zombie just took the tra took that uh, pole trap to the face. That was amazing. But anyway, is that is uh, the buying game? Is that like how Skyrim distributes their game shows as books? down. Down is good. Down means progress, I think. Wait, you don't like the smooth jazz cinematic death scene combo? I think it's kind of brilliant. I think it's untapped potential in the Skyrim entertainment market. I could go down there. I think I need to. Well, YOLO.
No, go back to sleep. Your alarm has not gone off yet. Go back to bed. Heal. Let's chuck a couple potions. I eat the cheese. What did your doctor say about eating cheese? Quote from an ad for Skyrim. Chest smash a trap or two. <laughs> nice. Hello? My aim's better. Designed this. Make Todd Howard. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, the undead don't count because they should not be alive in the first place. I'm returning them to their rightful state. Is that what Todd Howard's house look like? To get into Todd Howard's house. It's glowing blue. Nope. Like, do you have to walk across a pathway with swinging blades? And after that, you have to get through an irradiated wasteland. blocks more effective. What? No. Circle of protection? Man, for one mana, I can prevent one damage of particular color. Did I learn nothing from Galaxy Quest? Well, <laughs> I have not seen anything from the uh, Fallout show. What? What? What is this sword doing? That is not how you sword.
That sword is just floating. Classic Skyrim. I was supposed to be on a quest for the Bard College. Why am I fighting so many zombies? I can do that too. Most people think their teachers are zombies. Fair enough. Whoa. I almost died there. That would be bad. Where are you all coming from? Yes, thank you for the reminder, Step Zero. I am in As I Die. Uh, I am, in fact, I have a giveaway for uh, five of the 2023 Busted Halo uh, Christmas ornaments. Uh, these are very limited edition. Uh, so head on over to the Discord that uh, Step Zero has linked. And uh, in the general chat uh, there, just tell me on the general channel, just tell me what you want for Christmas. I can't provide any of it except for a... Uh, uh, an ornament, but you know what? It's fun knowing what people want for Christmas. Uh, we're all the way back at the start. And we'll be doing the drawing uh, a week from today. So the day after St. Uh, Nicholas. I wanted to do it on St. Nicholas, but I don't stream on Wednesdays because I have other duties to attend to. Oh, that's some way to take care of a Draugr. Yeah, but everything's trying to kill you in Elden Ring, so... I wouldn't be surprised if the ghosts are leading you into danger intentionally to, like, feed off of your misery or something. Dang it! Ah. 
Maybe we're not powerful enough to do this yet. I mean, yes, fair enough, but also, shut up. Okay, what other quests do we have? Investigate the Galder legend. That's the main quest. Why don't we go back to school at the College of Winterhold? I was told to come see you, like, two months ago, but anyway. Welcome to the college. Well, first you'll need these. You're not required to wear them. You may find them more liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and we'll get to your first class. You ready to begin? Sure. You said something, but I couldn't hear it. Apparently my character only half pays attention. She's saying something. I can't move. Has the game just crashed? Skyrim would never be known to crash, right? That's not... Ah, uh, today's stream is only mildly cursed, brought to you by Hubris. Let's restart Skyrim. Oh, gee. That was weird. Tell you what, everything's behaving weirdly. I'm going to go off like things get better. I'll be right back. Thank you, folks. Okay. Okay. I am back. Things seem to be working. Maybe. You're a little s too slow to claim those uh, father jokes. There we go. Microphone got hit. But look what got fixed. We have actual game audio. What a weird miracle. Hey, Petoni, good to see ya. Hey, I actually had a question for you. Is it P-Tony, Petoni, 
Pat just patches because I saw that as, as your Twitter handle. You come and join us at a fun time as we're we are dealing with some fun. You say P Tony, awesome. You join us at a fun time is uh was we dealt with a lot of technology issues all of a sudden. Just everything stopped working. Ah, Peter, there you go. Well, I guess today is the feast day of your older brother, then. Tech issues are the worst. Yeah, but they're bound to happen sooner or later in the live streaming business, right? Yep, Andrew was the older brother. Welcome to the college. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. Okay. Winterhold has been a but look at this. We've actually managed to start the... Uh, the tour. She's moving! Prominent feature here is the I just find it funny it's our primary location for lectures, practice that both Skyrim crashed and the OBS the started freaking out at the same moment. I'm going to claim the college, solar radiation often keep him or sun, sun, sunspots. I run the day -to -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. Hey, Gail. Thank you for the uh, resub. 12-month streak. One year. That is wild. Yeah, I'm not supposed to stare at the sun. Yeah, I think the latest update of OBS is uh, not great. That's why I usually don't. And Kit has has also resub for 12 months. Thank you so much, uh, Gail and Kit. Thank you for the resubs. Thank you for the year of support. What I learned recently is that it it counts the coming month in that because the one year an the the anniversary that I got affiliate status is very easy to remember because it's Christmas. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Why don't I have a now, door? Let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. I mean, if it's my room, this is my stuff. But I'd still like to know why I don't have a door or at least a curtain. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. Mirabelle, it's it's pretty cold outside. Can we walk a little faster? Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. You made me late for the first day of class? Welcome, welcome. We 
were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control okay, magic. Okay, Maximilian. Course, Good to see you. Of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. We've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Uh, I think practical would be helpful. Is that so? See, he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? Look, I'm not All looking right, to learn flashy down. magic. I asked for practical. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? Hey, Anonymous has gifted Bad Roxy with a, t with a gift sub. Thank you, Anonymous. Gotta give uh, Anonymous a big old thank you, Roxy. I don't know any ward spells. I can teach you a very basic ward. One that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. This seems like a. Please, just opposite me. This is like walking into a class and being like, "Ah, this is how you make armor. Here, hold, wear this armor. I'm gonna shoot an arrow at you." Step zero, thank you for the 200 bits. Well, I think this is an I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring. I train success. Well, unfortunately, it's still November, and I still have some of these. It's an excellent learning opportunity. So 200 bits. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. Let's see how they are when they're stale. Yeah, there is still horror candy. I, I only had like two pieces of this horror candy. I'm not having more of this. I'm sorry. It's just not. I'm waiting for it to go stale to see. Well, if it goes stale. But anyway. Horror candy away. It looks like I got a green one and a red one. Oh, that's harder to chew. Somehow I think they got better. I think my parents were before Yes. Does that cover everything? I wasn't really talking right, to you. Then. Stale horror sounds st sticky. There's a lot of pressure for me to excel in my studies. No, I do not I like the horror of the mac and cheese gummies. They're They are as the the box describes fruit flavored. Not not particular fruit, just kind of like Flavored is the concept of fruit. And their texture is weird. Yep. Yep. Yep, Tony, this is a thing. Kraft mac and cheese gummies. Gummy candy, fruit flavored. I mean, I don't know who thought this was a good idea. Who, who was sitting in a boardroom somewhere was like, you know what we need? We need a candy version. Yeah, fruit TM. That's what they taste like. <laughs> the smell has gotten worse. 
beef tenderloin flavored tap. No, Gale. No. Well, I appreciate the gesture of, of receiving the candy from my parents, don't get me wrong. But, um... Where am I going? Oh, I'm going over here. The, the, uh... The actual candy itself... Low-key horrifying. <laughs> but worth the experience. Is pink Thank slime just chicken week. candy? I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. What? Well, uh, um. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me, and I'll kill you. I mean it. I don't know who you are or what you just gave me. This is what he gave me. You know what? No, I'm not dealing with this. Someone run past just now. Yeah, he went that way. Thanks. Bastard stole from me. I'll catch him though. Okay, good luck finding the armor because it got dropped somewhere. Arthal. I am going down into this quarry in entirely the wrong way. Oh, good. Let's see if waiting makes him disappear. Or it makes him appear, I should say. This is exciting, isn't it? And here we all are. Shall we step inside? Good to see you. All okay, right. let's go. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. Let's prep up some magic. I am usually going down swinging. Yes, you do. You have something labeled Hype Pat. Is it a crab? I can't tell. It's too small from this distance for me to tell. You think it's a fish. Who says crabs aren't fish? I'm not so sure we Some of you may know. Sawthor was one of the earliest Nord settlements of Skyrim. It was also the largest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is good history. Sacked by the elves in the infamous Night of Tears, not much is known about what happened to Sarthal. Are we a mage's college or an archaeology college? This is an exciting opportunity for us. Well, are there any questions before we begin? What are we looking for? Anything, anything at all that might be of interest. That's why I adore this location. We have no idea what we're going to find. And if along the way, my message about the dangers of magic should happen to sink in for a few students, that would be a happy coincidence. I mean, sure, I, I guess mages I can do archaeology. It's just, it's like... It just seems an odd way to teach at a mages college unless this is an elective. 
This is better than sitting around talking about magic, don't you think? I did miss the path. YOLO See Skyrim is already a pretty dark game visually and then I have a bright light light right into my eyes It's okay, I make I can make anything a torch if I try hard enough. I find it hard to believe this excavation was approved. I'm not so sure we should be here. That sounds like quitter talk. anything he asked far far too many questions about my research i think the thalmor are trying to steal my work i haven't told him anything of course what i'm doing is far too important can't breathe a word of it okay right. what are you staring at arniel we're just we're just concerned Did no one notice the magic amulet hanging out right there? Apparently not, but now I'm... What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? No, I'm trapped. How in the world did that happen? I touched a thing. Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some way you can use it? I can wear it. That's usually what one does with amulets. Perfectly normal day. Can you find that highly and unusual over here? Why in the world would this be sealed off? What is this place? I'm not sure what to expect here. Please be on your guard. Hold, mage, and listen well. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. I don't know. I've stopped other things before. Has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. 
judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. You, mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. What's a Sigic? Take great care and know that the Order is watching. I felt something rather strange just then. A Croatian comic book artist. Uh, fair enough. Some sort of ghost or apparition Afraid spoke I to me. See anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? Sigic. The word it used was Sigic. Are you quite sure about that? That's very odd. And danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. The Sigics have no connection to these ruins. And no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? I do not recommend opening coffins. Until next time. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. This is simply fascinating. Should get a mute button. Yeah, Skyrim physics. I just walked over that bone and it just launched me because I got confused about how things interact. Mine are too quiet. Well, I leaned away from the microphone, so that helps. But I've thought about getting a, like, foot pedal mute button. But then I just keep forgetting to actually, you know, get it. How many Nordic ruins have you been in? Until next Did I time. see Spriffing Brit video? Launch version of Skyrim. He had to reduce his max HP by five for every bug he encountered. Oof! Oof! No, I have not seen that. I also don't know who Spriffing Brit is. But uh, that just sounds brutal. Because, like, you could lower your max HP. If you're doing it by five for every glitch you run into, I mean, you may not have any HP left by the time the opening cutscene's done. I was, I'm a big fan of the uh, McElroy Brothers Specialist Edition, where they, bah! I even saw it and I ignored it, where they took um, when Skyrim Special Edition came out. They decided, well, we don't need that. We can make our own. And just proceeded to install 10 mods a week until it crashed. But the funny thing is that after it crashed, they'd restart. But then... Yeah, I can imagine every level was just boosting HP. But the thing is that like, even when they reset, occasionally glitches from previous weeks, which they had completely uninstalled, were still active. Yeah, if you're looking for a funny time with Skyrim, I, I recommend the McElroy Brothers. I forget if it was like specialist, like the most special or super special edition. It was something, you know, appropriately silly.
Uh, Skyrim is going. It, we only had a minor glitch earlier where it crashed everything, including OBS. Which, for the record, is running on a separate computer. So, I think it's going great. Uh, we've tried to find some more books. We, d we weren't terribly successful, though. We did find one that talked a bit about Legends. We did, in fact, have a hype train. That was fun. Now we're working on the uh, Mage's College Quest. Yeah, I I would avoid the newest version of OBS if you can. Because uh, P-Tony also said that he had some issues with it. Yeah, I finally told it, fine, I'll update just so you'll stop asking. And I think that was my first mistake. Ow. Okay. So where's the answer key? Because that's... No, I'm an old curmudgeon. That's fair. See, I updated because I was having some issues and I was hoping that that might solve them. It, it sort of did, but then it made other issues. Ah, uh, technology. Ow! But I'm glad that all of us streamers kind of have the, uh... Th this common experience of Ah, uh, yes. Ah, there's the answer key. It's behind each one. So, whale. Bird. I love these puzzles because they're not really puzzles. It's just a hide and seek. guy hits like a truck. I died. Uh. Anselm is just not cut out for this combat stuff. There's the stairs. Mm. You haven't played Skyrim since release. That's 
Probably for the best. Of course, then there's the question is which release? I personally like playing Skyrim on my smart fridge. I eat all the cheese. Exactly. Ah, the PC release. I'm amazed my PC in college could run this when it came out. Ouch. It was, the way it would crash the PSA, that is rough. Okay. Let's retry this. This time with a little more healing. What if we can get the AI stuck somewhere? Where is he going? Well, I asked to get the AI stuck. This is not exactly how I had imagined it. Oh, shoot! It's not... The AI has no idea how to get to me. Where do you get? Oh, there he is. Almost, almost, almost. Yeah, we did it. I mean, the PS3 also had, uh, well, it wasn't the PS3, but it was in the era. It had the uh, whole security breach thing that shut down PlayStation Network for, what was that, like four or five months? That's a ah. Are you serious? That's actually how I got a PS3. Is that um, towards the end of it? Uh, I knew. 
uh, GameStop because I had a whatever card. Two free security breach here. Two free games. Yeah, seriously. Um, but because I had a rewards card, whatever. Um, I got an email with like, hey, our records show you've never bought a PS3. They're not selling so hot right now because, you know, security breach. Here's a hundred dollars off. Which was pretty sweet. Like, okay, I can't download any games or play anything online, but $100 off of a PS3 Slim? Yes, please. Yeah, not all can play PS2 games because of... Mine couldn't. Mine was an absolutely not backwards compatible one because it was the Slim. Where are you, buddy? There you are. And then when the, many years later, I managed to trade in the PS3 and all my games because I had a PS4 at that point and also the PS4 was on its way out uh, and pay for a good chunk of a Switch. That's fair. I mean, PS1 does have a lot of classics, so... I try to not be a pack rat. I don't succeed, but I try. But I'm very particular, I guess, with my games, like which consoles I keep. No, Gale, the servers first shut down years ago for BC2. Yes, Tempest Fugit and all that, Gale. I'm sorry. Oh, sh This is the one that, like... ...shifts around as you move other ones. So it moves those two. Moving that one doesn't change anything. That changes that one. So, whale is next. I think that's right. Yep. Hello. Orb. I can finally ponder my orb. Why don't you help out here? I was trying to read chat and I got attacked. Uh, I think they actually were definitively shut down, unfortunately. I love BC2. That game is so good. The Destructo physics are so much fun.
Come atteth me, bro. Nope, oh, that's a dead end. I'm getting stuck. It always comes back to being a stealth archer. There was nothing stealth about that. It was it was very uh, just in your face archer. This is simple. What is this thing? I have no idea. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The archmage needs to be informed immediately. He needs to see this for himself. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Savos Aran of this discovery? Please, hurry. Okay, I'll take the convenience uh, exit. There's no gift store, though. But where did my learning? I have to do my du daily Duolingo. The bird will scream at me otherwise. <laughs> yes. We can't have screaming birds. Birds do that enough. Ice, ice form in the beat of under pressure. Ice, ice form. See, it doesn't quite work because ice, ice baby. Baby has two two uh, syllables, so ice, ice form kind of falls flat, and you're you're expecting another syllable. Um. But now I just have under for me. I don't think that works. But now I just have under pressure stuck in my head. I will spare you all from my bad attempts to sound like uh, David Bowie and uh, uh, Freddie Mercury. Ice, ice for me. Yeah, that could work. Gail has redeemed a father joke. Oh, I need to figure out where I'm headed. Are you quite sure we need to be speaking? So why don't ants ever get sick? I guess it's because of all the ant bodies. You are relatively new here, are you not? I have noticed you, but we have not spoken. That's the appropriate response for a father joke. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. <laughs> I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the college. I didn't oh, do paid. anything. I, the teacher made me. Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I have enough to deal with right now. We found this sort of a orb. I see. I trust that Tolfdir will provide a more specific explanation. 
Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Tolfdia normally looks after your little group, yes? Since he's apparently occupied, and I will need to see this discovery for myself, I think perhaps you should begin researching the subject. Speak with Urog in the Arcanium. See if he's aware of anything that matches your discovery. I just started here. And You're giving me... Good work. The next time You're giving me a research paper on day one enemies, of class? Perhaps this what is this, grad school? Now if you'll excuse me. So shiny. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Hundreds I will respect all of these. Assembling. I know what you want. Word travels fast around here. Discovered some big mystery, huh? Well, you don't even need to ask. No, I don't have anything for you. Not anymore, anyway. I said not anymore. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran off to Felglow Keep to join those summoners. Some kind of peace offering. I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. Now, when you say right, talk to Orthorn, are we talking about actual discussion or are we talking about Skyrim talk to? Talk to me. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself in a lot of pain. I care little for idle conversation, but perhaps you need help with conjuration. You there. I have questions for you. I have answers. You in Sarthol, yes? It has come to my attention that something was found there. Yeah, I already told the Dean. I am well aware. Tolfdir is still in Sarthol, is he? I shall be expecting a full report from him when he returns. Why does this Something matter to you? Something was discovered in Sarthol that was significant enough that Tolfdir sent a new member of the college alone to deliver word. That sounds precisely like the sort of thing that should matter to everyone, especially me. Thank that you logic doesn't help. follow, but you okay. Answers! Answers about Spider-Man! Get me pictures. I know that Spider-Man terrorist is... Uh... Damn it. Ne What's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, get me pictures of Spider-Man. With answers. Where are we going? Oh, way over there. No, oh, the fast travel. Dang, nabbit! I think the word my brain was looking for was terrorize. If it got stuck at terror, it was like, and trying to make it into a verb or into a noun or an adjective. It's a good thing I don't have to speak for a living. Wait. So we need to go up there. So I guess around this ravine. Wait indeed.
I wish to commune with the magic rock. No, I don't want to animate corpses. As a monk, I'm very against that. Oh, you know why I was dying so easily to that uh, Draugr boss in the dungeon? It's because I'm dressed in robes. I didn't put on my armor. Oh, well. Ah, the light dawns. Yeah, d you know, it's not the best way to survive a whooping, but we did it. And we didn't even have to glitch out the AI, technically. That was the first time we beat him, but then we died to the traps. Cairn. It's a cairn. I really like that word. I don't know. He doesn't want to see the manager. What if it is the manager? to talk to this guy. Now, if he's in the dungeons, it means he's probably locked up. Oh, you're one of those people who keep spiders as pets. If you care to the very best. Ice Mage, meet fire. No, you're an apprentice. Behold mine. You attacked first. Oh, books. Oh, they're not on the list. Okay.
I did my worst. Was it good enough? Are you who I'm looking for? No. My worst is taking a while. Yeah. Well, it is my worst after all. Nope. I'll kill you, when you, stand. you know what? How about you kill the people who are imprisoning you? Uh, why do they have vampires here? Ow. Ow. Where am I? I'm dead. <laughs> uh, you can adopt up to two children. No. I'm good. <laughs> I think we're going to call it there for the day. I do want to save this character so we can come back to Anselm maybe at a later point. Um, but that's going to be the last of the Skyrim for now. So thank you so much for everyone to tuning in to Let Us Play. I've been your host, Father Evan. Uh, thank you for sitting through the uh, wonderful glitches we were experiencing earlier. Glad we got those sorted out. It'll never happen again. Um, but... Yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, for everyone donated bits, uh, liked, subscribed, followed, all that good jazz. Uh, and reminder, we have a giveaway up until next week uh, for five, one of five uh, Busted Halo 2023 Christmas ornaments. Um, these are really nice. They're made of ceramic. Uh, if you go to the Discord that uh, Sub-Zero has just linked in chat, uh, or if you go to the description on YouTube or to the description of the channel here, uh, go to the general chat and just tell me what you want for Christmas. That'll enter you into the drawing. I'm not going to be able to give you anything for Christmas other than a, an ornament, but it's still fun to know what people want. And then we'll do a drawing next week on the 7th uh, in honor of St. Nicholas, but only a day late. Um, and yeah, so again, thank you to everyone for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh, uh, what we're doing next week. I need to talk about that. Um, on Monday, we'll be doing more Yeez 8. We are rocketing towards the end we are hopefully going to wrap that up uh before the end of the year uh and i i believe we will i think we'll be done before christmas even um and then tuesday uh, i've got a special surprise for retro tuesday during the month of december something very fun and festive i think very nostalgic uh the the only hint i'm going to give is that uh, we're going to have some humongous entertainment some humongous entertainment uh with these games and then next week for Spirituality Thursday, we're shifting gears over to uh, Adam's Venture Origins, uh, which is a uh, action game um, set around Indiana Jones style, uh, looking for ancient artifacts for Genesis, I guess. I don't know. It looks interesting. I'm intrigued. Uh, so I hope you have a great rest of your day, great weekends, take care, and God bless.